All right, so I'm in the process of doing some work. Uh, lots of different work. I'm doing the upper helm gauge panel. I've already done the lower helm gauge panel, uh, and it's all operational. I just have to tie in the upper helm panel to the terminal strip here. But while I was down here, I noticed uh, this is what the previous owner installed the Xantrex True Charge 2 um, battery charge monitor, the remote monitor. The battery chargers under the couch close to the batteries but this is the uh, remote monitor and if you notice over here that is uh, charging output percentage so it's 20 percent output I think it's a 40 amp uh, charger so I just got on the boat and it's showing 20% uh, output um, now I did power up a few things but there really should not be that much output right now usually usually when uh, when I'm on the boat and, and most everything is shut down it's down to the first dot right there which is 5% so this I noticed this was happening um, a while ago three months ago and the culprit was actually two I have two banks of two and it, the uh, when I purchased the boat it had uh, two banks of two Optima Group 31 spiral cell AGM batteries. They're kind of expensive. I don't really actually like them very much, but that's what came with the boat. And uh, they were probably four years old, five years old, um, somewhere around there. Um, so I just left them in there. But then uh, I noticed that I was having some uh, zinc erosion and that this was up. And then so I took a look at the batteries and one of them was overheating. Uh, one of them had a, a failed internal cell so my batteries are down here so I have this uh, infrared scope or camera that I bought to do troubleshooting on here so uh, I am going to show you what a failing battery looks like so let me climb down here and I'll show you what the failing battery looks like and how useful this tool is all right so there's the two banks. These are the ones that I replaced about three or four months ago. And those that's the bank of uh, Optima Spiral Cells. So we can look at this bank with the uh, camera here. Let me see if I can... There we go. All right, so if you see in the upper left-hand corner, we get a max in view of 91.2, minimum of 87.2. Six. Um, so it's about a three or four degree swing of everything that's in view here which means everything in that view is pretty uniform it's uh, it's not bad so uh, ambient down here you know it's, it's in the water the water's a little cooler so under you know below the floorboards the uh, average temperature is probably about 90 everything is heat soaked so that's what you'd expect the batteries to be maybe slightly warmer depending on their use um, so that this is the start bank you would expect the house bank to be slightly warmer if they're used in use but not much so let's take a look at the house bank so you can see both batteries there you can see the first battery is right there second battery is behind it and you can see that this first battery is very, very hot. It's not super duper hot. It's not going to pop or explode or anything. But there really is no reason why that thing should be 106, 107. And you can see it's in just certain areas where it's warm. And there's an odd hot spot right there that is over 110 so that's what we're looking at it's right there and you can see the back battery is more of a uniform let's see here the center of the green is the center of the screen so it's about 94 on that back battery but almost certainly a little elevated because this battery is higher now I do have a temp sensor 
mounted to that battery so the uh, true charge up there should be reading the uh, temperature uh, and restricting the battery output probably is right now let me see if I can get my feet out of here here so that's probably why it's not actually hotter than it is so this uh, unit here it's called the Hick Micro B1L got it on uh, Amazon I don't remember how much it was I think it was around 300 bucks but to me it's extremely useful and here's my AC unit output right here let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting here 47 let's say it kicks butt so that's the Marinair unit boats a mess let's see here no other heat sources down there so uh, so this unit here is very 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 useful I would consider it uh, mandatory if you can afford one you know have a multimeter and this unit for electrical troubleshooting and trying to find uh, uh, high resistance um, areas in your electrical electrical wires you can just kind of look at them and it just will show you which wire is carrying load and if they're excessively hot and you don't even have to touch it or get near it so uh, I would highly recommend this uh, just pinpointed my battery no problem um, and so now tomorrow or so I'm gonna have to uh, go do something about this battery so alright and uh, we'll uh, get to more later I'm putting in the uh, upper helm panel probably tomorrow and we'll tie them together and then start everything from the top and check everything from the bottom, make sure everything's good. All right, more progress later.